Hey, welcome back to Six Mile Outdoors. I'm Bobby Harris. Hey, we got an exciting day today. Why? Hey, remember the forever gun build? Well, we're at the end of it now. I've got everything done that I'm going to do, maybe, unless I put a different scope on it. But right now, I want to show you the finished product. We've got a lot of work done to this gun, and this is one that I'm really proud of. You can see I've got the Kuyu camo on the stock now. Everything's uh, everything's camoed out as far as the stock's concerned. We did a lot of work to this gun. I think you've been following along with me here and you've kind of seen uh, some of the things that we did. First off, we started out with a, uh, a 1996 model Remington police sniper rifle and a full bull barrel. We had the thing cut down from 26 to, to uh, I believe that's 22 inches. Uh, the end of it is threaded and you can see here they machined a thread protector to go on it that just kind of blends right into the, the unit. I had all this machine work done at Long Rifles Incorporated in Sturgis, South Dakota. They also fluted my barrel. They did a helical flute on the barrel here. They did it on the bolt as well. So you can kind of see the same helical pattern here. Uh, did a number of things. We uh, put a kind of a hexagon pattern on the uh, firing pin cover back here. Um, got it all back and uh, of course it was in the white. I did a tungsten gray Cerakote on it so you can see all the metal that you can see here is in a tungsten gray pattern and uh, which I really like that pattern. I kind of wanted to pick it to go along with this uh, Kuyu Vios is what this is called uh, hydro dip and so I really like the Kuyu Vios. I like the big macro pattern. I like when you when you're you back up, you're hunting out west, you're a long way away, it's got large print to it, so you can kind of blend in a little bit better in open country. I really like that portion of it. Uh, we got the thing back and we started putting everything back together and we dropped in a trigger tech uh, primary trigger. Uh, that's something I try to put on all my guns. I really like the trigger techs, uh, nothing wrong. I've got Timney as well, uh, but I've kind of fallen in love with some of the trigger techs and uh, really like those. So anyway, we've got that in. It's all set. I've got it set at a, at a nice crisp two and a half pounds and it breaks real nice. Um, we did put uh, quick disconnects in the stock. So you can see here, we've got uh, the quick disconnect flush cups already built into the stock there. I added those in the process before we did all the hydro dip and, and all of that. So uh, we did bed this gun too. So there's an epoxy bedding in here. Everything fits real tight. I've got it all set up the way I want it. Now all I have left to do is uh, hit the range. So I've got some reloading work to do now. And so I've got uh, the uh, powder that I want to shoot. I've got plenty of that. And um, I've got to get on the bench and start doing some reloading because I've got uh, a couple of different size bullets that I want to try in it. And uh, at least two different powders that I want to try with different loads to try to find what's the, you know, where the sweet spot is on this particular rifle. But I'm going to get it all set up. The only thing that I have left that I may do, that I may do, is I may order a Leupold. This is a primary arms scope that just happened to come with the gun whenever I bought it. Nothing wrong with it. Um, I'm just not overly fond of it, but I do like the Leupold with the CDS system where I can do some bullet drop compensation. So I may wind up doing that and, uh, and getting that coming. Uh, that would pretty much put the nail in the coffin on this particular project, getting a different scope on it, getting all the ammo lined out, getting it shooting. And uh, you know, if we get the CDS system, we'll also send off of that custom turret and we'll have everything dialed in or we can just uh, kind of drop it in up with the dial. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to uh, bring you up to speed. The Forever Gun build is here and uh, and pretty much done. So, hey guys, I thank you for sticking with me through this process. I know I've got a lot of videos out there and I've touched on a lot of things. I uh, hope none of it's been too lengthy or too drawn out, but I wanted to kind of bring you up to speed here. I appreciate you watching. Hey, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and uh, hit that like button and subscribe. If you hit that bell, then you'll get notifications whenever I come out with new products and new things to cover here. But if I do get that Leupold scope, I'm gonna come back and do just a Leupold review on that by dropping it on this gun. So anyway, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for sticking with me and God bless. Take care.